Hi everyone, this is Dr. Tony Stiobudi, an orthopedic surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. I want to talk about meniscus tear. But before I talk about this condition, I want to explain to you what I mean by meniscus. This is the knee joint model. If I open up the knee joint, we can have a look at it inside. There are two C-shaped soft tissue called meniscus. The meniscus functions as a shock absorber inside the knee joint. Meniscus tear is one of the most common knee injuries. It can happen in three ways. Number one, during sporting activities. Twisting and pivoting movement, for example in soccer or in basketball, can tear the meniscus. Number two, during deep squat, when you carry heavy things, it can also tear the meniscus. The third one is wear and tear that can happen in the knee joint. This get worse as we grow older. People with meniscus tear often complain of pain inside the knee with swelling. Sometimes the patient cannot straighten the knee and sometimes the knee get locked, get jammed, it cannot move and you need to wiggle wiggle then the knee can move again. Meniscus tear can be easily treated with a small surgery, arthroscopic keyhole to repair or to trim off the torn part of the meniscus. If it is left alone, sometimes it can cause complications such as accelerated wear and tear in the knee joint. It can cause impairment in the day-to-day -day activities. And finally, in long term, it can cause early arthritis in the knee joint. If you have knee pain, swelling, difficulty straightening up the knee, or it lock, then you need to see your doctor to get it checked. An MRI scan may need to be done to confirm if you have meniscus tear or other condition to explain why you have knee pain. So an early treatment can make a difference in the long run. I hope this information is useful to all of you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.